What is up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of 7.3 liter truck stuff. I figured you guys are getting tired of seeing the truck over and over and over again even though it's a 7.3 liter channel so I might as well drop the Challenger in there. If you are new here my name is Jeff Demo and welcome to 7.3 liter truck stuff. The truck over here this is Greta. Greta is a 2001 Ford F350 Super Duty with a 7.3 liter diesel today coming equipped with a rose that my daughter pulled out of the rose garden for me because she wants to see it in the video okay because I have got the world's best subscribers and I mean that sincerely I am the dad next door with with no mechanical experience whatsoever and uh, basically break the truck fix it and show you guys what I did right what I did wrong so that you all don't run into the same mistakes and uh, not too long ago I had a disagreement with my wipers uh, basically they they weren't they sucked let's just call it what it is all right so yeah it wasn't good and uh, so I put on able wipe new blades and the blades were decent they ended up being decent but ultimately what ended up happening was there were some uh, some areas that still weren't getting cleaned on the glass. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. You gotta be kidding me right now. So uh, once I put the new blades on and I bent the heck out of these uh, wiper arms here, what ended up happening was is, uh, some subscribers saw that and were like, hey man, we've got some options for you. Why don't you check it out? So let me show you the first thing that I did. As it turns out, I guess as the, the tension spring in here uh, goes away over time, right? It's almost like a 20 year old truck. Uh, there are companies that come in with these aftermarket springs that bring just enough tension to allow the wiper blade to hit the majority, if not all, of the front windshield. Um, so long story short, today we're going to take these guys off and we're going to take off those wiper arms because, as it turns out, it's not a particularly expensive part. And what we ended up with these guys mighty clear wiper arms so we're gonna go ahead and replace the wiper arms today we'll take the dog always like five miles away like a bird moved and he's losing his mind no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 sir. All right, well, I can say this. At least the uh, children are cooperating. The dog isn't. The lighting is, as always, a disaster. Did your brother just run up here saying you said a bad word? What word did you say? <laughs> Madison, who taught you that word? Nobody. Madison, why did you say that word? I don't know. Madison, you know that's a bad word to say. Can you say sorry? Sorry. All right. Can you say I'm never going to say that again until at least I'm an adult? I'm never going to say that again until I'm adult. Okay. No more, please. Okay. All right. Stern dad voice. Go play. Where was I? All right, wiper arms. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna replace those wiper arms today, but I'm gonna take the same able wipe blades that I had on here and we'll put it on the new wiper arms and hopefully that fixed the problem. And if not, <laughs> I guess I'll break the front windshield. I don't know, we'll see where it goes. Thanks for uh, sticking around, let's go on for this ride. Oh, by the way, before I kick off, uh, check this out. I went ahead and ordered 7.3 liter truck stuff stickers. Now I've got a super awesome friend who's developing some uh, additional stickers for me. 
to go on the truck, but these will uh, these will be good for right now. And I'll post up a picture, but they are about 12 inches long and about an inch and a half tall. So uh, I'll put those up on the windshield and you guys will have an opportunity to see that. And if you want to do the same for your trucks, um, you'll have an idea of what it looks like in terms of size. I was going to say that there was a trick to this and make sure that you go slow and that the corner of each letter sticks to the windshield so it doesn't follow the outer adhesive here. Let's get back to our regular scheduled programming here and uh, get these wiper arms on. So here's the mechanism that locks everything into place. The spring and the clasp that the wiper hooks onto. Coming up on the driver's side. reach under here pull that as always a little difficult to do with one hand so I just pulled this portion up and it just popped right out so this is what the inside of the old control arm looks like and that's the bracket for the wiper and to take the wiper off an arrow that goes to this clip right here. Clip that, push this out, take the new control arm, slide that in, press the button, and uh, we're good to go. And again, coming up on the driver's side, I prepped this by getting the spring set. All right, first one's done. Looks a lot better too. Okay, coming in on the passenger side. This is a Rogue 50 caliber antenna, which was a heck of a lot better than the other one I had on, because it fit. First thing I'm gonna do is take off the tension spring here. Don't scratch the paint. <laughs> Find the button, pull it out, right on. As always, respect the neighbors and be gentle. <laughs> oh damn, I needed the wiper on that. <laughs> well. The wiper undid itself, so that helps. All right, passenger side. By the way, these are universal, but we'll use this one for the passenger side. And again, able wipe, clip this in here, 
press this down to secure it and I'll flip this up so we can do the install. Okay, coming in from the passenger side, this is the mechanism that sticks out. It's got a groove on it. And I imagine hooks into there. Done. With Madison's flower in view. Wow. Okay, we had a brief intermission because my stereo came on because I turned on the truck, but the bottom line is this. This is significantly better. So the wipers, decent. Uh, I might upgrade those because they're just a single blade and uh, I do think the, the triple blade will help, but definitely the new wiper arms made all the difference, as did Madison's flower. All right, I'll wrap up this episode in the truck. Thank you for watching another episode of 7.3 liter truck stuff. Take an opportunity to check out the apparel link down below, as well as Instagram, TikTok. And it always means the world to me for you guys to hit like, slam subscribe. It helps with the algorithm, uh, helps the channel grow. And leaving comments to keep me squared away is, is huge. That's the only reason why I had the information to go ahead and uh, and do this this upgrade.